Hello internet people from YouTube. My name is Inferno and today we are doing the demo of 12 cards. We're going to be doing a 1v1 MLG duo, duo uh, legacy decks. Mine will be a Hawk deck and Chris's. Hello Chris will be doing a stasis deck that I have played before and I made or adapted. I guess it's kind of I took some ideas from other people and made a deck that I like. And um yeah, we're gonna get this going. Uh are you ready to did it did 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 a duel? Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let me get your IP address plugged in real quick. Copy paste and Inferno. Is the server up? Yeah. Alright. Connect. He is very good. Very good. <coughs> And now I got to get my hawk deck. Yeah, deck. There's my hawk deck. Yes, very good. I'm gonna be on the client side, so I'm gonna be a bit more laggy than he is. He's gonna have zero ping. Oh yeah. All right. So, uh, basic. I'll go ahead and draw my hand out. I didn't really want to do that. I just want to draw. I don't want to flip cards over on top of my deck. I have to keep doing it, though, because I'm really bad. I do not know how you're doing this. Yeah, alright. So let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, oh my god, this hand would have been awesome if I'd gotten a mana, so I'm going to mulligan. <laughs> I need to fix that rotation bug, but it's okay. Wait, why am I doing this? I need to put them back in the deck, not back in the... Uh, I am retarded, I, I apologize. Like, putting them in the pile next to the deck for some reason. Mm -hmm. How many cards can you draw next? Huh? After you do that. What do you mean? When you decide to redo your hand. Uh, this will be my first mulligan, so I get to draw seven. Next one, it's it's a gentleman's rule that you first mulligan, you draw, you still draw seven. Second mulligan is six. Third mulligan is five, etc. And um, then I'll explain camera controls real quick. Please give me a mana this time. Oh no, deck, deck. Thank you, thank you, deck. You are too kind, except for not really. Wait a second. Wait a second. Did I shuffle my deck? No, I must have. There's no way I would have gotten these cards in this order if I didn't shuffle my deck. It just seemed really, really coincidental. It seems too coincidental. Mm hmm. But it's not possible that I didn't shuffle my deck. That would I would have not gotten this. I don't want to mull again, mull again twice in a row. So I'm gonna go with this. Okay, so yeah, quick, quick thing. Um, camera controls for this game. WASD moves the camera. You know, standard FPS. Holding the middle mouse button while uh, dragging the the uh, mouse around rotates. And finally, zooming in and out is done with the uh, zooming roll wheel, scroll, scroll wheel. Then moving cards around is done by clicking and dragging, and selecting cards without moving them is right clicking. So, and then everything else is done with hotkeys, like two draws upside down, and uh, F flips a card over, or uh, the arrow keys rotate them, and etc. So, uh, go ahead and start this out. Um, I guess I'll flip a card. Oh shit! Hold on. Uh, I'm just gonna type a number into the console real quick. Uh, pick a number between one and two. That's an integer. <coughs> Two. Yeah, yeah, I go first. <laughs> I put one. And, uh... Alright. So, I go first so I don't draw. I'm gonna play a white land. And I'm going to play... Sunday Rock. Greatest bird of all time. And then my turn. You 
didn't draw. Oh, you no draw. There you go. Mm hmm. Alright. You done? No. Oh, okay. Thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, just by the way, with, with that deck, you're going to have to think in combos. None of those cards do much by themselves, but together they do crazy things. That's what stasis decks do. Crazy things. In my turn now. Alright. Upkeep. Draw a card. Not a land. Oh, dear. I still don't think I've shuffled my deck, but uh, that would be my fault if I didn't. So, um, <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to attack you for one damage. Oh, baby girl. So you're at uh, 19. Made my turn. you're doing? Just thinking. Okay. And my turn. Hooray. It is my... It is the time of the hawk. Untap. Draw. Please be a land. Even better than a land. Wow. Thank you, game. I love you. Woohoo. I got a soul ring. And with soul ring on the field, I end my turn doing one damage with Sunday Hawk. So you're 18. Heads up. Uh, if you had a counter spell, you should have destroyed Soul Ring when I played it. Because it's mm -hmm. going to make you cry. Soul Ring. reading the cards. Mm. Yeah. Probably should have set you up with the burn deck that I had, and not that one. That one's a lot more complicated. And my turn. Alright. One tap, one tap. Draw a card. <laughs> How is it that I have three of these in a deck and I've already drawn all three? That's just... Damn. Anyways, I'm going to pay, uh, which one of these do I go with? This is overpowered. I'm gonna pay uh, three mana. Play sword of sword of war and peace. Counter this now if you can, or you're going to lose. <laughs> what is that? Uh, I att I equip it to a creature, and whenever that creature attacks, you take damage equal to the number of cards in your hand, which is currently seven. <laughs> hmm. And also gain life for that too, so it's even worse. So counter it now if you can, good sir.
Got nothing. Alright, so it goes through? Mm hmm. Alright, your turn. Or you hit you once and then your turn. So you're now at 17. Does that work? Oh, sorry, I was... Uh, four mana, Jace, Mind Sculptor, yeah. You do. You can already, and you can use one of his abilities this turn if you please. Hmm. Agu, Jace of the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> I remember you, I remember made you kind of mad with that card. Because I kept making it come back out every time you almost killed it. So yeah, with Jace, uh... Ah, I can't return that target creature right there. Is this a separate creature? This, uh... uh the Sword of War and Peace? Yes. That is a artifact. Does it say it can do artifacts? Return target creature. No, you can only return Suntail Hawk to my hand. Okay, I'll return Suntail Hawk. Alright, Suntail Hawk goes back to my hand. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh... Jace is now at two, so mm -hmm. remember that. And I guess I end my turn. Alright, untap, untap, draw a card. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I should probably work on the uh, stacking mechanic, it's a little buggy. Alright. I'm going to, uh,. Pay one white mana and put Suntail Hawk back out on the field. And then I'm going to also tap Soul Ring for two colorless mana and put Clint Hawk Idol on the field. Which is an artifact. And uh, I can pay one mana to turn it into a creature for one turn. Mm. And also, it's kind of odd. I have. I'm just gonna assume that Glint Hawk Idol's effect does not give it haste, and we'll just uh, I'll Google that later if I feel like it. Um, <laughs> so uh, I end my turn with that. Yeah, I guess I do uh, draw your top two cards or whatever. Uh, I mean, the top card. So uh, you're doing your plus two ability? Yeah. Okay, so you look at the top card of my library, and you decide if you want to put it on the bottom of my library. Which is currently it's a Suntail Hawk. Yeah, go ahead, put that on the bottom. Alright, so I hit four, put it on the bottom of my library, and put the card back over. Alright. Is that all you're doing? Yep. Alright. Untap. I draw, and then I play a land. I'm going to, uh, to pay 
two mana with Soul Ring to equip Sword of War and Peace to uh, Suntail Hawk. He just picks that rotation bug still. And uh, Suntail Hawk now equip creature gets plus two plus two, so it's a three three, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, uh, you take seven. You take uh, cards in your hand plus three. And I'm going to swing with it, tapping it out, and um, that will deal. You're at 17, so you take three. You're at 14, takes six more, so you're t at eight. Swords <laughs> are overpowered. <laughs> and uh, with my last two mana, I'm going to play um, this card, which is called. Uh, this is a Squadron Hawk, so I can search your battlefield for three cards. Name. Okay. I'm going to search my deck for three squ squadron hearts now. Uh, squadron hawk, squadron hawk, where are you in this desk? Okay. 32. There's one squadron hawk. Okay, where's another one? Uh, 33 is a squadron hawk. And the last one is... um. Where's the last Squadron Hawk here? 30 is Squadron Hawk. So yeah. There's three Squadron Hawks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to shuffle my deck. And uh, put those Squadron Hawks into my hand. And finally... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight cards in my hand. I'm going to discard and mimic that. Since that's too many cards in your hand at once. And in my turn. Mm -hmm. This is what you should do. You need to remove uh, my Squadron Hawk it back in my hand or something, because as it's, well, even if you do that, you can't really stop it. I can put it back on the other hawk, so you're going to have to get rid of that somehow. And I guess end my turn. Uh, oh, you play Stasis? Oh, oh fuck. That's not good. Uh, Alright. Then my turn begins. I don't untap. And... Yeah. I'll draw a card. <laughs> you have Jace and Stasis on the field. That's never good. Oh, I didn't say that. What are you talking about? Never mind. Um, a penis. That's what I drew. Um, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly this game is not looking good for me. Uh, I end my turn and I discard Mimic Vat because I have too many cards in my hand, so I'll just toss it over there. Stupid rotation bug.
say at the start of your turn you had to pay one mana for for stasis. Mm-hmm. I was gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the top card of your deck. Alright. Uh, say Lightning Greaves, you can put it on the bottom or leave it. Yeah, put it on the bottom. Alright. Um, and Jace, you've used his minus one and then plus two, plus two, so he's at six. Mm hmm. And my right. turn. Alright. Uh, start of my turn. Draw a card. And. I discard Enlightened Tutor because it's too much. And. I am my turn. So at the beginning of your turn, you, you yeah you pay that mana. I know. I end my turn. Well, I uh, use the uh, number two on uh, Jason plus two. So he's at eight. Or yeah, eight. And yeah. Um, do you, you want to? So did you already do this, or do I do it now? Uh, do you do it now plus two? Uh, it's a Glint Hawk. Leave or put uh, put on the bottom. Mm, put it on the bottom. Mm, looks like you had a messed up card there. Yeah. Not sure what that one was. Um, actually, it'll say in the console what it was. I need to add that to the um, to the uh, can't find texture for mo.png. Don't know what that is. One second, mo.png. That's probably Mox Opal. I don't know how it got mo.png out of that though. Might be a bug, I'll have to look into that. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, I start my turn, don't untap, draw a card. It's Mox Opal, big fucking surprise. I play Mox Opal for, uh, zero mana, essentially, since that's what it is. And I have three artifacts on the field, so I have Metal, metal Craft. And, uh, that card's effect is when, when you have Metal Craft, you can, um, tap it for one of any color mana, I believe. Let me check that real quick. Where the hell is Mox Opal? Let me search for Mox Opal. There it is. Mana craft, add one of mana of any color to your mana pool. Actually, this ability only wants to only if you control three or more artifacts. Yeah. So, I have three artifacts. I can tap this for one of any color mana. Happy face. I'm going to uh, tap. Oh, well, that's completely pointless. Now, your turn. I know what the reason that is. I'm actually like working on the program right now. Uh, why isn't it working? Do the plus two on Jace. Plus two on Jace. All right. Flip. Hey, it's another Mox Opal. Uh, put it on the bottom. All right. 
four, four. And you pay the mana for stasis. Yeah. In my turn. Oh, okay, you probably just drew a mana. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. At the end of your turn, I'm going to tap Mox Opal for one mana. Use that to play uh, Enlightened Tutor and put a card on top of my library at my choice. So I'm going to just search my library real quick. And I'm going to pick. I know I'm searching my library. Uh, Can I counter that? No, uh, well, yes, but it'll cost mana. Mm. I don't know. I'll counter it. Okay. I think this is what that card does, is it? Jeez. Yeah, it's, uh. You may return an island. Oh, I hate you. Yes, okay. That goes through. So Okay, is that one island? Uh, well, I mean, look at the other cost. You can return an island to your hand instead of paying the mana. So well, that's what I meant. Is return an island? Yeah, you can return an island. Uh, I'm not letting you take that back, but you take a tapped land and then you put it down next turn, and you have that land untapped now. Wait, what? If you had taken a land that was already tapped, like this one right here, mm -hmm. and put it back in your hand, it wouldn't have been tapped anymore when you played it. Water. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a tip for using that card. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you, do you pay a uh, mana for stasis already? That's not my turn yet. Oh right, my bad. Uh, well that was my turn right there. Mox Opal's tapped right there. Okay, not uh, put that in the graveyard. Oh, I didn't draw though. That was the only thing I didn't do. So I'll draw, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, it fixed that aspect ratio error. So we can actually play full screen now without having the <laughs> weird ass aspect ratio. It's because it wasn't, um, I was doing integer divide integer, but I wasn't casting it to a float, so it was uh, returning it as 1 or 0. It's kind of a stupid mistake, but sometimes you miss things like that. Alright, I want to look at the top card on your deck. Alright. Uh, it is a plane, so you probably should put that on the bottom of my deck. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Alright, it's on the bottom. Apparently there was two of them, so I got so I have another one coming up. And then my turn. Alright, on my turn I draw planes, ball, and I play it. And with that mana, what do I do with this mana? Nothing, to be honest. Um... And my turn. Hmm. What is Jace at now? Twelve. Fuck. I use 12. Alright, so... Essentially, uh, deck is dead. Crying face. And I put all my cards into a stack that were in my hand. And I... flip them over, shuffle them, and... your turn's over. Yep. Alright, my turn begins. I draw a card. And... I'm going to go ahead and attack you with this hawk. Mm -hmm. So you're now at uh, 7, because you were at 8 before. And that ends my turn. Yeah, 
have one mana for stasis. This is the last mm. turn you can keep it up unless you draw mana. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why Mox Opal turned into Mo Opal, or just Mo dot PNG. Hmm. And my turn. All right. Touch turn starts. I draw a card, and. I guess it doesn't have summoning sickness. I mean, there'd be no point if it was. I'm gonna pay one mana, turn this into a two crew creature, and hit you for two damage. So you're at five, and this is tapped. Mhm. Mm you done? Mhm. By the way, you have to discard cards if you have more s more than seven cards in your hand at a time. The maximum hand size is seven, unless you have a card that states otherwise. Mm. I probably didn't explain that to you correctly. Nope. <laughs> so you need to toss one card unless you play something. And you pay that mana for stasis to stay up again another turn? No. I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking about which card to get rid of. And my turn. All right, draw a card, and I have my turn. This is pretty close, actually. Hmm. I think I only have like three turns left on my deck. Alright, so Stasis is finally out. Mm hmm. Alright, you in your turn? Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, finally. I am going to play. Squadron Hawk and Squadron Hawk and yeah, I'm gonna swing out with the uh, million damage Suntail Hawk there and this Squadron Hawk mm -hmm. and that's GG I think. Yep. All right. This is a good game. You would have beat me if you had just a bit more mana, because I only had uh, one, two, three turns left <laughs> before I would have died from uh, mill out. Mm -hmm. All right. I like this Hawks deck. It has lots of Hawks in it. And they all have swords and stuff. It's a, it's a Hawk carrying a sword in its, in its talons, and it drops a sword on your head. Yep. <laughs> Alright, um, I guess this concludes the uh, demo for 12 cards, just playing Magic here. Works for anything else, you can play Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh with this. All you do is put the uh, card images into the folder, like TNG. Place the Magic the Gathering backing with the Yu-Gi-Oh backing, then, you know, here we go. Let's put a Pikachu in here, just for moral support. <laughs> Pikachu. All right. Oh, I need to add that that table flip command too. I thought of how I was gonna do it. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome when I add that in. Mm, girl, I'm stealing your hand. 
Oh, you had a Jace. Damn. He managed to get that out. Oh, <laughs> Chris, you could have won the game. Mm -hmm. uh, rescue right here. You see this card, Rescue, right here? Mm. Okay, what you should have done is when you had two mana left on, on Stasis, you should have used Rescue at the start of your turn. Got Stasis back into your hand. Your stuff would have untapped, and then you would have played Stasis again. All your mana would be untapped, and then you could have just my turn gone to my turn, and I would have like ran out of cards eventually. I didn't have any mana. Oh, did you draw a rescue like later on? Later on. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That would have been. <laughs> I would have been mad if you had been able to do that. Oh my god. All right. Uh, gotta find the command prompt I have for this. And I might as well go ahead and show off. I'm going to see how the full screen works real quick. Uh, good game, yeah. Uh, just because I can, I'm going to show the full screen modification I just added in. with us fix the aspect ratio. Save. And let's close the game. Start. There we go. That is full screen with a proper aspect ratio. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Fortunately, you lose keyboard input. That's odd. I'll have to fix that. That's a bug. Yeah, I've, I've actually completely lost keyboard input with this. That's kind of weird. I guess it's just another bug I'll have to work out. Probably. Oh, I can't close this. Ooh, ooh, goo. This is not okay. Java. Alright, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, people.